Realistic ground cover is achieved by mixing several layers of plants in interesting ways to add compositional variety and visual complexity. Here's an example using the new Layered Lawns Library that comes with Forest Pack 6. First of all, you would start with a base coat to fill in the majority of the area. These are called base layers in this library and they're presented in two different ways. You've got detail base layers for small areas and you've got large base layers which are created from patches for quickly populating large areas. So you just pick one of these and add it to the surface. Once you're happy with your base layer, you can start adding new other layers to add details. You do this by cloning the existing forest pack object and then reopening the library. In the library, you've got things called overlay layers. These are designed to go on top of a grass layer to add more information. You can add more than one of these, of course, for more interesting effects. So you just pick one of these, load it into the forest pack object, and just assign the surface. So now we have a lawn on one layer, and we've got an overlay layer of plants. And you can keep repeating this process to build up layer after layer of different items. The advantage of this way of working is that each one is editable separately, so you can easily go in and configure exactly the look you want to achieve. In the library you'll also find some presets which have AIO after them, which stands for all in one. These are made from patches which incorporate a selection of the plants shown in the rest of the library. These are great for quickly populating scenes, but they don't give you the same level of control as having all of the plants on separate layers.